Okay, so now we're going to look at some harder examples and some things that might not involve money. A tree measured in 1988 contains an estimated 100 cubic meters of wood. If the tree grows at a rate of 4% per annum, okay, we finally have a rate. How much wood would it contain in 1998? Okay, so our time is two different things. We start off in 1988 and we end in 1998. So we have to subtract the two of them and we get that our time is 10 years. Now, the next thing is, is are we looking for how much more wood it, would it contain or how much total wood would it contain? And the answer is, is how much total wood? We start with 100 cubic meters. So this is our principal amount. So we have P, we have R, we have T, and now we need to decide, do we use simple summative amount or do we use compound summative amount? Now the way that trees work is trees do not grow at an equal amount every year. They build on each other creating the rings. So we're going to be using a compound interest formula. So the compound interest formula is S equals P times 1 plus or minus I raised to the N power. Okay, so S equals our principal is 100 and we're going to say 1 plus. Now what would our M be per annuum? if the tree grows at a rate of 4% per annuum. So it's not compounded quarterly, not compounded daily, but the annuum would mean that M equals 1. So we're going to say 4% over 1. And this is raised to the N. Now in this case, N, this number right here, should be RT excuse me, 10, <laughs> times 1. And we know that 10 times 1 is, in fact, just 10. Okay, so we get out our calculator, and we're going to do 100, open parentheses, 1 plus our fraction, 4% over 1, close parentheses, raised to the 10. So we get that our summative amount that the tree contains in 10 years is 148.02 cubic meters of wood. And this would be kind of a harder example that doesn't necessarily involve money that you might come across in your readings or your study.